And we are back. Now, normally I run through all the things that we're going to have opened in today's pack opening at the start of the video. However, instead I'm going to show you the reason why you will not be seeing 100k packs from Division Rivals this week. Because we didn't get promotion due to this moment. So, here you can see Alawiran in the middle of a chip shot. This was in the 85th minute in the game of Division Rivals that would have got me promoted to Division 1, which would have, of course, secured those 100k packs. The score is 2-2, like I say, 85th minute. So, if this shot goes in, I win the game and get promoted, and I'm just going to let the clip play for itself. about the rest of you guys, but I spotted several big mistakes. But, but, but how, how did, how, how you know did... what? Let's watch my favorite part again. Shall we? I then, of course, proceeded to draw that game 2-2 and not get promoted. I didn't feel like playing any more FIFA at all after that. So I will try and get promoted next week. It should be fairly easy to get promoted next week. So you will get 100k packs next week. But just a reminder to all of you out there that there are quite literally pro players whose jobs are on the line if they don't win games of FIFA and stuff like that can happen. So EA Sports, please fix your game because we just cannot have stuff like this going on where there are literal jobs and money on the line. But uh, yeah. Let's get some packs open. So, starting things off, as always, in the objective section, we are going to start by taking this ultimate pack for 200 wins in foot... Sorry, 200 goals in foot champions. Gets us an ultimate pack. And also, we are going to be claiming this week's objective player, which is Renier. Not sure why he's only 85 rated, considering that last week it was Pavard, who was 87. But another good player, another winter wild card gets added to the club. Not really sure as and when I'm going to use him. Brazilian, La Liga, but not the best stats. Only four star, four star, only 80 stamina. But at the end of the day, it's another first owner player for the club, which we will take. And then, of course, we shall move over to the foot champion section, where we will then be claiming rank four awards. I thought I'd just mess around a little bit more this week. Use a few different players from the club. have to say Del Piero, for those of you that were interested, is very, very good. Particularly up front on a Hunter, where he gets 99 finishing on the five-star weak foot. So we gave him a run all weekend. He did very, very well. But as you can see, 14 wins, which gets us the three-player picks as always and upgrades that 50k pack to a 100k pack. We will find out later on if that was worth it. But for now, we get our three usual player picks. A little bit more interested in these this week. Apparently, there are some best-off players in packs as well on top of the winter wild cards. So fingers crossed we get a few promo cards out of these three picks. But as always, I'm not too fussed if it doesn't go our way. But here we go then. First player pick is going to be 87, Thomas Muller. I will happily take that. Second player pick is going to be an 86 in Thiago Silva. And the final one is going to be Jack Butlin. There we go. Straight away on the board with Jack Butland, who looks like a really, really good card. 80 pace, really good stats all round, and of course, 5-star, five 5-star five with the 6-foot-5 as well. So, interested to see if he plays in-game better than the Nick Pope, which is due an upgrade. I'm not sure if it's actually had it just yet, but a really good start to today's video with an 89, an 87, and an 86 from our foot chance picks. I'm hoping that these continue. I know not, not a lot of you feel the same and they're waiting for red picks to come back, but I actually think these are better than red picks because nine times out of 10, you get higher rated players out of this. And with the way the power curve is, red picks, unless they're going to be promo red picks from the reintroduction of Team of the Week, these are always going to be better. So I will take that. And I've got no duplicates either, so we'll just get straight in to the usual pack grind and you will see the next time we get anything good. <laughs> okay, let's just rip this. Um, I'm just going to say off the bat, these three, not sorry, these four, not worth it. Absolutely not doing 500k for a hero when I've already got good heroes. Um, not doing 300k for a base icon, I've already got better than that. 150k for a pack that was 75k last week. Definitely not going to do that. And yeah, I'm not going to bother with an ultimate plus pack. Absolutely not worth it. But 
We sadly do have to do this winter cheer pack. It does get us a swap token, but we still have some FIFA points left over. So I'm not actually going to waste my coins. I'm just going to spend 500 FIFA points on this to get the swap token. And anything else we get in this pack is an added bonus. It is going to be a walkout. Cheeky little Kalor Navas. It's going to be Kalor Navas. So we'll take him. Uh, I can't remember if this pack was tradable or untradable. Oh, two walkouts. We'll take that. It is untradable, so we'll fiddle around with the duplicates. And we do get, of course, our next wildcard token. Nice. First of the player SBCs completed for this week, then. This is going to be the former Arsenal youngster, Osei Tutu, now back at Beecham for the second time over in the Bundesliga. Looks like a fairly interesting card. Not quite sure where I'm going to fit him in. Probably going to... Give him like a Sentinel or something and then play him or a powerhouse. Play him as a CDM since that is one of his alternate positions. Don't see him getting in on the left-hand side anywhere in my Bundesliga team. So that's probably what I'm going to do with him. And yeah, nothing great so far on the pack front. Hopefully that will change up soon. But we're getting very close to completing a whole bunch of SBCs, which you will see shortly. Okay. Um, I wasn't even recording. I've had to turn the recording back on. We've just got Corona. What? from a jumbo 26 pack um yeah so barely not any rares you can get a thousand coins as well but um wasn't expecting anything from that pack but we're on the board in terms of packing promo cards jesus corona from a jumbo 26 who would have thought not me sadly all i have to bring you is yet another sbc and that is going to be the completion of meza Urzel. I said, nothing really special popping out of packs right now. We're getting a lot of fodder, which is why we're able to do these SBCs so quickly. But it's just nothing really content worthy in terms of pack pool. So there's going to be Mazet Urzil. He is going to be another player to add to the collection. Five star, five star. Reasonably good stats, but not a lot of stamina. So he'll definitely get in my Turkish league team. I have a fairly decent Turkish league team now. So he'll definitely get some minutes in that. And he probably makes it into the German squad just about as well. But... Um, yeah, hopefully sooner or later I can bring you something massive from a pack. The next day. Okay, we finally made it through all the riffraff to make it to our history makers. Now, I've seen three different people's history makers pack and all three have been Aldasari and Alawiran. So, I've not got any expectations on this. Hopefully it's just someone that will potentially end up going into an SBC. So, welcome up history makers pack. So you don't know where I'm from, dog. <laughs> Pulisic and Dempsey. I mean, yeah. When he gets the two upgrades, he'll be an 86, and then we'll most likely go into an SBC, if you're even allowed to SBC these cards, but I'm just not fussed about that whatsoever. LeBron James. And straight after that, we now have our winter wild card mystery packs. That's going to be Randolph, the five-star, five-star goalkeeper with 99 kicking. I mean, yeah. Am I going to use him over the Butland or the Nick Pope I already have? Probably not, but it's a good West Ham card. There's a lot of good West Ham cards out there at the moment. And yeah, I'm sure he'll get minutes one place or another. And the second winter wildcard mystery pack. Play the pie face clip. Oh, let's go! That's class! I actually think this is a really good card. He's definitely going to get a look in in my team. I'm obviously trying out different players over the course of the next few weeks anyway. He looks better as a midfielder, I'm not going to lie. You stick maybe like a Sentinel on him or a Guardian, play him in midfield. With those that 99 passing stats, you see them there, every single stat 99. I feel like that's wasted at right back. And his defending and physical isn't the best anyway. So I know he's only three star, three star, but maybe as like a box to box midfielder or as a CDM on a Sentinel, I think this could be a really good card in midfield. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Come on, one of these draft packs pay off. It's at least boards. Italian, center mid, Verratti. That might actually make the video just because it's from a draft pack. And that just proves that draft can sometimes be worth it. And Tadic as well. I don't know what his actual price is. He's looking at around 20k, but no one's actually put any bids on him. But there you go. He, um, he's more than the cost of the draft. So draft has been worth it for me this week. I'm going to be doing a fair few more drafts on this account now. I find like all the rest of the gameplay is just shocking at the moment. So I'm going to include this in the video purely because it's a draft pack. 
and I've got good rewards from it. But um, keep an eye on Draft. If you're a good enough FIFA player, Draft is probably the best place to get packs and have fun right now. And as you see, that pack proves it. Final pack of day two is going to see us open this 83 double player pack. Um, again, I don't even remember where this is from, but it's a good pack. Hopefully, it will get us something good. It's only going to be bored, sadly. Don't be 283s. Don't be 283s. It's 283s. Oh, deary, deary me. And it's Jordan Henderson as well. I'm very tempted to just flat out discard him. But we won't. We'll put him into an SBC before wrapping up day two. And then obviously day three will be our rewards day. And that is where we have put our Jordan Henderson. He has gone into the Reese Oxford SBC. Again, a card that looks fairly decent. I'm probably going to start him as a right back in game. Good link to the Osoy oh, Tutu that we completed earlier on in this video. Um... Yeah, he probably would play better as a centre back, I think, than a CDM. Not really checked out his passing stats, but at six foot four, he's gonna feel a little bit stiff in game. Not the best balance and agility, so probably more suited to the centre back position, especially if you give him an anchor. But you never know, maybe if you stick him on like a powerhouse or something, he could do a job or a guardian as a centre mid or a CDM because he's already got 99 short passing with fairly good vision and long passing. So yeah, could potentially work on a Guardian as a CDM. For me, he looks like a good centre back in game. A3. Okay then, we'll kick the champs and rivals rewards section off with the 5 times 83 plus pack. We had a pretty good one last week, so hopefully we can get another pretty good one this week. It is going to be a walkout as it was last week. Spanish, centre back. Laporte, so not quite as good as last week's pack, but it's some more fodder for the club. Can we see anything else? We'll take that. 384s and an 83 that can go on to the trade pile. Next up, we will get open one of our rivals packs, I think. Yeah, we've got the Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack from Division Rivals Div 2. That's going to be another walkout. It's going to be Spanish again. Goalkeeper this time in David De Gea, so we'll happily take that as well. Anything to go with our De Gea? No, just some more duplicates. So we'll put them into some more player picks, and then we'll catch you in the next pack. There it is. Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack number two. It's not even a board. Wow. It's going to be Saka again. Back-to-back -back packs. Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack. And we don't even get an 83 rated player. That is absolutely shocking. But that is why I show these things. Because sometimes the rivals rewards just don't really pay out. Five times 84 untradeable. We will get our next SBC done from this. It looks like it's only going to be a board. Which kind of sucks. It's a French goal. If it is a walkout, it is going to be... Mike Mignon, so not the best from an 84. Could see a potentially little sneaky promo card, and we do get a sneaky little promo card. Giorgio Chiellini, another player for our MLS squad. We are about to go and complete the other MLS Winter Wild card the next time we get a duplicate untradeable fodder card. So we'll take that, another promo card for the video, but also no duplicates, meaning we can just move straight on to the next pack, which we're going to go for from down here. That is going to be one of the many 50Ks we have got from Rivals and Foot Champs. We'll start with the tradable one from Foot Champs so we can just keep the video flowing nice and smoothly. It's going to be another board player. Spanish again, CDM. This time it's Sergio Busquets, 85. I'll happily take that as well. Lots of duplicates. Firmino can go up to the trade pile. Everything else can get discarded. No use for any of those players. Let's move on to the 50k pack from Division Rivals Rewards. It's going to be yet another walkout. It's going to be a Brazilian goalkeeper. Edison, 89 rated. It's all starting to come together now in this little Champs and Rivals Hello there. pack opening. And Frankie de Jong and Lukaku. Fantastic fodder stuff there. Uh, again, we'll put all this into some upgrade packs and then we shall continue. And there is that player pick completed and it gets us Ivan Perisic, so even more fodder for the club as well. Let's get the second of our 50k packs from Division Rivals open next. All the way down the end here. There it is. So 50k pack once again. It's going to be at least boards again. Spanish again. CDM walkout. Rodri this time. More walkouts. This has been a very good pack opening for fodder in terms of the rewards. 
As always, once again, we'll get these turned into some upgrades. So the player pick led to another duplicate fodder player. So we have turned that duplicate fodder player into the MLS player that we just spoke about. That is going to be, was it Othello? Okello from Canada. And that will be a perfect link to the player we got in the previous promo who I was able to get as well. So we'll take him. And we actually ended up using all of the players on our discard pile other than a second Jesus Navas to complete him. So that is that done as well. And I believe that just leaves the tradable packs in terms of rewards left to open. So we'll whack them open now. We'll start off with the 100k pack from Foot Champs. And that is going to be another walkout. Spanish again, though. It's going to be a duplicate David De Gea. He can go straight up on to the trade pile. Hopefully, we see a winter wild card behind it because they've not been popping up as the front card in packs. Doesn't look like it. A couple of more good fodder players. Any other duplicates of any use to me? No. So we'll store all of that. De Gea, Payet, Brandt can go on the trade pile. Everything else can get discarded. That then leaves the ultimate pack from Foot Champions. Can we end with yet another walkout? It has been very good for walkouts today. It is going to be another walkout. Portugal this time. Cam, Bernardo or Bruno? Sadly, only Bruno at 86 rated, but some more fodder that will go towards all the remaining SBCs, including, of course, that World Cup and here, well, just the hero player pick. I keep saying World Cup in optimism. Any sign of a winter wild card in here? No, doesn't look like it. So once again, we will store all of that. Send Navas up to the trade pile and discard the rest as just good coins for the club. And so the final pack we will open today will be the pack that we actually started the video with. The ultimate pack from completing 200 games where I've scored in Fut Champions. So a guaranteed 84 in this. Can we end it off with one more walkout and maybe one more promo card? It is one more walkout. French goalkeeper. It's going to be Mignon once again. Last time he came with a winter wild card. Is he going to come with a winter wild card this time? He is not. So not the best end in terms of the packs. But we're going to complete a whole bunch of SBCs for you now. And then, of course, we will end the video with the hero player pick. And here we go. So here we are then to round off the video. I've of course used everything that we have got up here to complete all of the relative SBCs. We have completed Payet. We have completed Rodrigo de Paul. I'm yet to complete Tony Cruz. He'll be done as part of next week's video. There are a few more packs that I didn't feel like opening this week. They will go on to Team 2 for winter wild cards. We didn't end up using Jesus Navas or the second Payet. So they can go into the club and it just leaves us now with a one of two 86 plus base or World Cup heroes. My hero luck has been relatively good so far this year. So let's hope I've not jinxed it. I'm just really hoping for essentially someone usable and someone that's not a duplicate and... Yeah, fingers crossed this is going to be something good to round off the video, but you never know. Some of these have been absolutely dreadful. Let's open it right now. It's going to be... Ooh, Joe Cole or Papan? I think Papan's an absolute no. Joe Cole definitely has some flexibility to him. He's a decent card. It's another attacker. I would have liked a more defensive style player for the club, but I think Joe Cole's probably worth it. I don't know what his actual price is. I'm definitely going to take... Joe Cole. It was an 84 and 86 rate. He's worth 250k. So he's worth about the price of the SBC. So I'll take that. Joe Cole, first owner England player in the club. One of my favourite England players, Joe Cole. So that is going to conclude today's video. As always, if you have enjoyed it, please consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. We do these updates every single week and try our best to bring you at least one icon or one hero every week as well. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of our weekly updates. I'll catch you next week.